As a memento, I put on a strip of cloth from the dead Kung Fu master. I decided I would use my new super Kung Fu powers to fight crime, so I became the best cop in the world. I became Kung Fury. What's up, you beautiful nerds? I am Wildfire One. I'm here with Clovis Guy. Here today, it's going to be Kung Fury. We're going to try out um, Kung Fury, but it's based off a movie that was that was like what straight to YouTube. Yes. And uh, it was just like made by people like you and me with a vision, and what a vision it was. If you haven't seen it, I definitely suggest go out and watching it. It's on YouTube. It's free. It's worth That's it. Thirty minutes of your life. Yeah. It. Like I, I said earlier, it's so corny and tacky, but it's like the good corny and tacky. If you like that kind of stuff, it's definitely worth it. And so Clovis is going to play a little bit of this for us. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, let's, let's, let's jump right into this. By it's, the way, all you need to know about this game is that the dev page for the game says not enough Nazis were harmed in the making of this game. <laughs> so we're fire. Oh, just like, just like uh, the movie. We're fighting Nazis. Kung Fury. So well, these are different game modes. Oh, explain this to us then. Well, we have the basic game, which is what it originally launched with. Mm -hmm. Then we have the first story campaign, and later they added another story cam campaign this year. Okay. We have a bunch of characters from the film, including Kung Fury, Hacker Man... Barbariana, mm -hmm. a Viking from the goddamn Viking Age with a chain gun, because that's what Vikings are like in the Viking Age. Oh, uh, according to the movie. It. According to the movie. And here we have Triceracom, known God. for shooting Nazis in the balls. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Triceracom. Gotta and love... Of course, David Hasselhoff. Who are you going to choose? We're gonna go with Kung Fury for this part. All right. Back alley. Oh wow. Okay. This part is a bit like the game One Finger Death Punch. Mmm. It's a bit of a rhythm game, actually. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, you have attack left and attack right. I see. I like the, the Zelda-style hearts above the characters. Yep. For instance, I need to know that every time you attack the girl, she teleports behind you. Oh! So knowing what each enemy is going to do is net, is important. Okay. I like the, uh, the splits for no reason attack. Yes. Kung Fury has many attacks, including just a handgun. <laughs> How long do these uh, the levels go for? Oh, damn. Um, this mode is endless. Oh, okay. So it's more a case of how long can you last. Oh, okay. It's just a horde mode, more or less. Yes. Okay. That's kind of cool. Well, that's over. I do like that it looks like it's an old, on an old CRT TV. Yes, yeah, so this entire thing tries very hard to look like it's an old game. The arcade strikes back. Sadly, the newer campaign does not have the actors coming back. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I mean, there's only so much you can do. And it did come out years after the game originally launched. Yeah. But they got the rights to include David Hasselhoff as a playable character. That and as you ask, is that legal? Yes. Yeah, that alone is is pretty impressive. This is the only game where David Hasselhoff can destroy Nazis with the power of his radical chest hair. And his voice. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So there's a story to this one. Yes. Okay. The eternal engine is broken down. Okay. 
The driver. F well, all your muscles walking shouldn't be a problem. Oh dear, but the streets are swarming with Nazis. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Don't we all? Ah, it's a very Ninja Turtle-esque kind of... Ah, get him. He's like beating the crap out of him with a... I love it. You can get hearts back? That That's good. I saw that earlier. <laughs> I tell you, that was a special. Yes. Keep a high combo for a higher score. Destroy objects for pickups. I gotta watch this this movie again. This just makes me want to watch it. And because it's a beat em up, you have to destroy the car, or at least you can destroy the car. Yeah, it's an option because that's that. If if it wasn't a car to blow up and a beat em up, then it just wouldn't be a beat em up. Correct. Oh, it's a female Nazi. That's a guy. Oh, there. it's a guy. Okay. That's the officer. Oh! The fact I'm glowing right now means I have a special move ready. Oh. That makes sense. The music is uh, impressive for what it is. Is that a picture of the Hoff in the background? Yes. Ha 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 ha! I love it! Because the Hoff rocking out is well known as the destroyer of Nazis. Of course. I mean, the, the the movie was basically like a nod to the 80s. It was meant to, it was also made to look like it came on a VHS tape. Yes. What do you call him, the officer? He's very pretty. <laughs> He's a pretty boy. He yeah, has one of the better parts in the films. It's been a while since I've seen it. I gotta watch this again. He gets into an argument with another German officer over who has the best um, Nazi mustache. <laughs> oh, they're throwing tires at you. That's when you know they're serious. Yes, and everyone knows that David Hasselhoff's chest hair can stop bouncing tires. Of course. Did you just get it warped Mario style? Yes. I love it. Where are we? <laughs> the arcade world generator. What the fuck? I mean... It's just, get, I love it. I love it so far. It's great. This nope. is this is so chaotic. It's awesome. Now get ready for Kung, for Kung Fury's proposal. I'll collect the data with my fists. That sounds perfect. The Hoth will collect the data. With his voice. And now we're doing a grid like every Trapper Keeper did for a while. Mm-hmm. Weird backgrounds, grid lines. Yep, that was every Trapper Keeper ever for a while. But yeah, there was some Trapper Keepers that were just completely... Completely, like, nutsoid as far as what they look like. Um, yep. Look like... it almost look, They almost look like... What is it called? Uh... Like album covers for music, you know? They were really yes, good about that. a lot that. of them definitely did that. A lot of weird worlds and, and grids and... That was... I, I feel like the grid thing was a big 90s... Uh, oh, that's a ninja. You're fighting yep. ninjas now. Yeah, take them out. Take that, take that rock out with your chest hairs, Hoff. How else do you break a rock? Only the Hoff can do that. 
The next area was the way out. Dream World. Oh, it's better than Water World. He turned the robot, the Nazi robot, into a stereo. You know what? I believe it. It's it's David Hasselhoff, man. We're talking about the same guy that was a freaking motorboat for like SpongeBob. So <laughs> you know, he, he, he believes and achieves all at the same time. There's only one man that can defeat the Hoff. And that man is. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm pausing for dramatic effect. Uh, <laughs> that man is uh, Chuck Norris. Fair enough. Only Chuck Norris can defeat the Hoff. But if the Hoff and Chuck Norris like basically like teamed up, oh, I feel bad for whoever they're against. Or if they fuse like in Dragon Ball, oh, <laughs> oh the world is done. Chuck Norris and David Hasselhoff doing the fusion dance. We'll call him Chucklehoff. Chucklehoff. <laughs> Hacker man? Oh no. Do your thing, Hacker man. What was that? What was that Pokemon in then Pokemon that was like missing no or something like that? Yes. That's what. That's where you're fighting right now. That's what you're looking at. Yeah, it does look like that. Mm-hmm. I pissed my bet my fist my fist my fist everything was his fist man I love it. Yes, my fist can reach him by punching them. Punching them. them. <laughs> All right, do your thing, Hoff. It's well known that David Hasselhoff's chest hair can solve computer glitches. Oh, yeah. That's how. How do you think he fixed Kit, man? <laughs> Car breaks down, he just whips out his chest, and everything's good again. Just, just pulls the chest hair out and puts it in the tank. Fucking Kit's good to go. You need some gas? Pfft. Chest hair. Have an engine problems? Chest hair. What the hell is that? Oh, I know We're what that is. We're surfing on a Commodore 64. Oh, through yeah. The internet. Oh, yeah. Like in the movie. Yes. That's why I was like, what is that? And it hit me. I'm like, oh, yeah. This was a scene in the movie. I just like he takes his mic stand everywhere. Yep. Got Never. Ready to sing. Never leave home without it. That's freaking awesome. Now, is this a situation where you gotta kill all the enemies or just go to the end? I think you have to kill all the enemies at all points in the game. Okay. But that's most beat em ups. Yeah. There's a cyber trash can. Cyber trash can for cyber trash. Well, you know, that Windows 3.0, man. Still had a trash can. Though, I don't know. I think this is more DOS era. <laughs> and with that, we lost all of the younger generation. They're like, huh? What? Ah, uh, DOS. DOS? What is this Windows 3.0 you're talking about? What is this DOS? typing commands in the DOS. Mm-hmm. I wonder what would happen if like the Hoff went into Tron. I guess that's kind of what we're looking at right now. No, I mean like the actual Tron, not like this version. Like what if what if the Hoff went into Tron? Okay, I'd pay to see that from Disney. Disney, if you hear this, you heard it! Fucking do it! Make this happen! I want to see... I want to see Dave, Dave Hasselhoff become a user in Tron. Just wearing that grid outfit with the, with the glowing lines? Yeah, but his, like, his chest hair has to glow. 
Yes! <laughs> he pulls down his shirt and there's neon glowing line chest hair. Exactly! That some animator had to paint over frame by frame of the film. Oh god, I feel bad for that fucker. Sorry, man. <laughs> his worst, and his final boss is like... Was like an evil kit. <laughs> Oh, are we in barbarian land? Yes. They call it the go they call it the goddamn Viking Age. Oh, that's right. Perfect name. You can't you can't you just can't do better than that, man. And the I mean every game felt for the longest time it felt like every game did the Nazi thing, and I'm kind of glad they brought it back in this, in the in the show. <laughs> I mean, I, honestly, I can't. I I want to say like, in the '80s, that Nazis was were like a were like a constant bad guy too, right? I don't know. I felt like in the '80s they were afraid to ever, to ever name it directly. Yeah, but like it was, it was. It was always like hidden. <laughs> kind of like how G.I. Joe was generic terrorist organization, not name. Yeah. It might be obvious now looking back, but they weren't going to say it back then. Oh, no. I mean, and they couldn't shoot bullets either. It had to be lasers and shit. Because, you know, you couldn't put death on Saturday morning cartoons. But you could put explosions in, in vehicles blowing up. Which to this day is still pretty sure bad. Make you show the Cobra soldiers parachuting out of a vehicle. At the last moment going... Yes. I'll get you, G.I. Joe! <laughs> I just like that there's... N Even in the movie, like, there was Nazis. Everywhere, right? Yes. Entire giant armies of them. <laughs> Shit. One of the best parts of the film is Kung Fury fighting an entire army of Nazis by himself. Well, it's because he's Kung Fury. Yes. Fury. And here's the Laser Raptor from the goddamn Viking Age. Jesus Christ, I forgot about the Laser Raptor. Clearly no match for Haw. No. Well, when you can fix a car with your damn chest hair. <laughs> you know. All these guys should just lay down and give up. Some of them do if you watch how they die. They basically <laughs> fall backwards with a heart over their head. That guy more or less blew up. Like exploded. And oh, yeah. The Nazis are parachuting in. Because how else would you, you know... Enter the goddamn Viking Age. Yeah, how, how else would you... How else would you come enter the goddamn Viking Age but with a parachute, right? Oh, yeah. They weren't a problem. <laughs> Rocking out solves all. Oh, you actually get Hasselhoff. How dare you? I don't know, he sounded like he enjoyed it. It tickled him. <laughs> yeah, and shoot him. See the background. We've got a bunch of Vikings that are trying to fight off Godzilla, as we'll see soon. Yep. Something that completely historically accurate Vikings did all the time with their chain guns. Oh, yeah. Super laser raptor. Yes. It doesn't look like it's working. Their, their aim sucks. Oh, very, very nice. <laughs> Red ninja. Oh, they don't sit still, do they? No, they don't. The you know, Sometimes you notice I shove enemies away because if you get too many enemies around you, it goes bad fast. Yeah. And... <laughs> 
the where's the car? Uh oh. Well, they're worried about the smell. Now they know what the smell is about. <laughs> Clearly, let's go after the smell. Yes. I'm going to unplug the sewers with my fists. Yes. Oh, well, because that works. That's that's how that works, yeah. Whole guy jumping out of a box. Ooh, nice. Audience, do not unclog your toilet with your fist. No. I don't like it. No, you might come back with something you don't want in your hand. But I think the perfect three-man team would be like the Hoff, uh, Chuck Norris, and then like Michael Jackson. Oh, wow. Because I think Michael Jackson would like use the power of music to his advantage as well. That would be quite the music video moment. Oh, it would. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure you remember like Captain EO from back in the day. I see it, but I've heard of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. You, I'm sure it's on YouTube now. People like the the full movie or whatever. Or maybe not, because Disney probably would sue. Oh, wow. I want to point something out that may not be always be noticeable. If you look at the edge of the screen, mm -hmm. the picture from the TV is reflecting on the rim of the screen. Oh yeah, I was noticing that earlier. Remember when TVs used to do that? Yeah, because they. Yep. Because they weren't always. They weren't always flat. Believe it or not. Once upon a time, TVs had edges in, I don't know. I don't know what to call that part of the television. A bezel? Yes. I think it's what it's called. Oh, there's pizza. Oh, it's not like Ninja Turtles. Got I figure that's a Ninja Turtle reference. Oh, yeah. Pizza laying around the sewers. Of course. I like that the, the skeleton's giving you the thumbs up. It, it, it is. <laughs> He's that like, go get him old. off. <laughs> that's how he went in Terminator 2. And mm -hmm. clearly no films happened after that one. Nope. We don't talk about any of the other Terminators. Because they don't exist. There you go. The ninja, the ninja survived though. Yeah, it only does so much damage. He has more health than that. Ah, because he's a ninja. I take it. Yes. I like that some of these guys are just coming out of the fucking sewer. They got a stink. Like all Nazis do. Yep. Oh, I refilled my HP. I got down to one point earlier. I yeah, really I saw that. I was, I was a little nervous for you. Is that like a... That, that looked... That, that um, mouse, that, that rat that jumped, it looked like a South Park-style rat. Apparently, we've unclogged the sewers. I guess the Nazis were at stank. That makes sense. I've had Nazis in my sewer once. I used a snake. How did you get that cleaned up? I used a snake. Ah, oh, the plumber snake. What can it solve? <laughs> uh oh. It's a fucking baby carriage. It's on fire. Yes, try to run me over. How dare those Nazis? Hopefully, the they took the baby out first. Well, it's an 80s film. Of course they did. <laughs> oh, they're throwing... Oh, they're throwing bottles at you now. Yep. That's how you know they're serious. Made out of sugar glass, folks. Yeah. Like every movie prop. Oh, that... There's not enough ninjas, that's my complaint. 
thing you got some hearts there. Hell yeah. Yeah, the music's pretty pretty intense. I like it. And now for the big cutscene. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, it's just him. <laughs> hey, where are you folks heading? <laughs> you want to hang with a Hoff? The beach. So this is all of them just trying to go hang out at the beach and have a good time. Yes. God damn it. Clearly, they, 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 even, they didn't even set out to fight Nazis. It's just they were trying to go to the beach and suddenly Nazis. It just happened that way. Don't you just hate it when Nazis ruin your vac vacation plans? Yeah, there's just like I'm on the road and then a Nazi comes in front of my car and he's like, I'll fight. And I'm like, okay, goddammit, not again. <laughs> Why? And of course, there's only one way to ride the car. Oh, of course. I like his mouth is moving. Like he's singing the whole time. I just imagine him like, I am Hasselhoff. <laughs> Fucking fear me. By the way, that one music video I posted uh, on your Discord a while back of mm -hmm. David Hasselhoff was for the Kung Fury film. Oh. He did the theme song to the movie. I vaguely remember that. Again, I need to rewatch it. Ah, it looks like nobody kept the watch on this bay, word choice. <laughs> Time to take the trash out. Mm. No one better than the Hoff. And now to clean up the beach. Again. <laughs> Fuck you, duck. The duck deserved it, too. Well, I mean... It was a Nazi duck. It was. It was a Nazi duck. Water and wave runners. Oh. That is a mermaid. That is quite the, um, chonk mermaid. <laughs> Mer chonk. Oh, you can kill. Oh, okay. It's an object. Oh, no. Just out of screen. It's too far scrolled. How dare. Oh, we are at the beach. We finally have arrived at the beach. So what's going to happen now? Fuck that duck. Oh, okay. He's a crab. All your oh, sand. Oh, no belong to us. God damn it. I love it. Hey, shellfish. Shellfish. Oh man. You will take beach. It's an Asian crab? I don't know. Sushi time. I love it. Got my cop sticks right here. <laughs> Every joke he tells in the film is painfully bad on purpose. He's like bad at one line. Well, it's like it's like the one line. Some of the one liners from from the eighties, like the movies, were pretty bad too. So, you know. Yes, but the running joke that they never quite point out is that he's really bad at them. Yes. And he, but he delivers them with such seriousness. Ow. Yeah, kick the shit out of it. Oh, okay. There's there goes some of its. Clearly, it's a robot crab. I was gonna say, is it made of metal? Clang? Did you say clang? Yes, it's a robot crab. <laughs> Hidden underneath the shell of a normal crab. I don't think there's anything normal about this crab. I like how it's pincher turned into, it's all, uh, that looks cool, man. Ooh. Show those chest hairs. Okay, he's almost down. Oh, 
Oh no! For a super attack. Yeah, yeah. So you can Come stun on, him. Leave me alone, crab. Leave me alone, crab. No touchy. No touchy the hoff. All right. Graphics are actually pretty decent for this, for what they are. Oh no, here we go. Don't hassle the Hoth. God damn it. I love it. So to get to the beach, they had to go through the internet. They had to go through the sewer. The Viking Age. The Viking Age. They had to kill a bunch of Nazis. Wow. Wow. That is that 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 is an adventure. And meet David Hasselhoff. Also, we could have some beers at the beach. Gosh, I've never had a, a beach adventure like that. Victory! Oh yeah, there's there's they're drinking cocktails, man. One's getting electrocuted. Wait. That's Hacker Man. He's charging up his robot body. Look at look at Triceratops. His butt cheeks wiggle. Yes. I was wondering. I was just waiting to see how long before you noticed that. Clearly, Triceratops wasted no time getting all his clothes off. Oh, you know, you got to keep that perfect tan somehow. What's he eating? I have no idea. No, whatever it is, I'm sure he's enjoying it. And Kung Fury just has a beer mug bigger than his head. Hey, you know what? That's how you enjoy it. Where are the uh, fireworks coming from, I wonder? Those are just exploding Nazis. Oh, that would, ex that would explain much. They're just launching all the dead bodies of explosives to get rid of them. Oh, wait, that might be why the water's red. It's not that the sun's reflecting off of it. That's just all the Nazis we're getting rid of. Well, that and you, you explo the exploding Nazis, yeah. Also, what's that on the far right of the screen? It wiggles every so often. Like a Look cat? That head we saw buried in the sand. Oh, okay, okay. He's still trapped. They Man. never helped the poor guy buried in the sand. Well, you know, he, he he's set in his own fate. And the Hoff is leaning on a... On his uh, microphone. Yep. I like it. I like it. What would you give this game, like, if you'd give it a rating? Well, it's a very simple game. I'd give it um, a 3.5 out of 5, honestly. Okay. Uh, There's not that much to it, but it will amuse you. It's definitely. It seems like it's definitely worth playing as far as, like, the replayability um well there you go guys definitely check it out um let us know which... absolutely check out the film yeah check the check the movie out check the film out it's on it's on it's on the youtubes of you and you guys you will definitely also find it on steam amazingly the whole film for free and so if it's on steam yeah check it out it's f completely free it's it's very entertaining i think you said it was like 30 minutes um yes, it's about 30 minutes exactly it's worth the watch. It's it's a very goofy, nostalgic, silly movie, and yeah, the game the game based off it definitely was just that as well. So yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. We hope you enjoyed this. Stay nerdy. <laughs> Always.